This is Worth a Minute. My name is Craig Worth. On a recent Saturday, my wife and I were taking a walk around the neighborhood where we live. We had our seven-month-old granddaughter for the day and were wheeling her around in a stroller as she quietly took in the sights and sounds, clutching her soft elephant attached to a pacifier. We had been walking and wheeling on the quiet streets for about 20 minutes when we started to pass one house with a chain link fence around it. On the other side of the fence were two young boys, probably ages five and three. Next to them was a man who was busy attaching a pull-along trailer with seating for two kids to the back of an adult bicycle. We have one of those trailers that we bought on Craigslist to give our short-legged dog a break on a long bike ride. She's not fond of it, so it mostly sits idle in the garage waiting for the day our granddaughter is big enough to make good use of it. As we passed beside the fence, my wife, who was much more outgoing than I am, said to the boys, it looks like somebody's going to have some fun. Both boys came over and wrapped their fingers through the fencing as they looked at the speaker. The tallest said excitedly, we're going for a ride with our daddy. And we also have another kind of bike that he can pull with his bike. And I can ride on that. I can pedal it all by myself but daddy does the steering. And then the boy added with his eyes wide open, isn't that amazing? My wife opened her eyes wide and answered, yes, that is amazing. And I thought, yes, that is amazing. And I felt how true that was for all of us. In that moment, I had a choice between smiling about a little kid finding some small fact amazing or joining him hitching a ride on his amazement. I was reminded of one of the great things about communicating with little kids. I get to be amazed again over the simplest things. They help me slow down. They help me notice, to appreciate. If I choose to take things to the next step, I get to be grateful. I need to learn this or to relearn it over and over again. On this day, I also appreciate that my wife is someone who is friendly to strangers and that the gift of this reminder today came from her friendliness. Isn't that amazing?